Nick Rodriguez was one of the breakout stars of the 2019 ADCC World Championships. Now, only a blue belt at the time, the former wrestler shocked everybody with his athleticism and his explosiveness, and only one man really had an answer for that, and that was Kainan Duarte. Now, they met in the final of the over 99 kilogram division, and Kainan was able to use a very specific sequence to score the points that would see him win that match. And it basically, he showed that he was the only one who had an answer to control that explosiveness and athleticism that Rodriguez came and managed to take out a number of ADCC champions with along the way. I think this is where uh, Rodriguez's wrestling could come into play, but with one hook in, yeah, it's got to be, be careful yeah, here. Kainan securing the back position. Kind of Duarte locking up the far side shoulder, gets both hooks in. Yeah, it's got the back. Body triangle by Kainan Duarte. So let's take a look at what it was that he did because Kainan used a few little tricks here, but it happened so quickly that you might miss exactly what those details were. So you've seen the sequence play through and you've seen exactly how it all played out. But let's start here in this position right here. Duarte is playing off his back. He's got a very open half guard and he's using this knee shield. You can see his right knee is up, it's floating, and it's, uh, it's, it's acting as a barrier between his torso and that of Nick Rodriguez's. So let's play it on a little bit and see exactly what's going on. So you can see that that active knee shield, okay? It's, it's kind of floating and he's doing a really good job of keeping it high high off the mat. If Rodriguez is able to put his weight down and he's able to smash that knee down to the mat, that's when he can kind of jump over to the side or he can run around. So Rodriguez, uh, sorry, so Duarte is doing a really good job of keeping his knee close to his chest, but also uh, making sure it's active. And you'll see now that basically he creates, a, he, his action and reaction with, with Rodriguez is what allows him to start this scoring sequence. Let's play it on. So you can see now that he brings it back in and he kicks away onto the chest, which forces Rodriguez up to his feet and then Kynan actually wrestles him down to the mat. And he's pretty much the first guy who was able to really go head to head with Nick in terms of wrestling. But he didn't play the wrestling game, he did so from a, a jiu-jitsu position, right? So going back here to this knee shield position, that Rodriguez has got his weight and is pushing down and through that knee and Kynan is just hanging out and he's kind of keeping that weight on top of him. And then you'll see now, we play and he gives a little bit back and as Rodriguez backs away, that little kick to the chest, Rodriguez comes up to his feet and Kynan is immediately up and chasing him. It's not just the move that got Rodriguez up to his feet. Nick is the kind of guy that he goes in and out a lot. But the interesting thing is that how Kynan used that, he initiated that sequence to follow him up into a strong wrestling position. Because Nick, his wrestling and his athleticism, as, as we've noticed, is, is really formidable. So Kynan needed to get him in a bad spot so that his wrestling, which arguably is maybe not on the level of Nick, that he was able to put him in a position where he could wrestle him down. And that's exactly what he did here. Because you've seen that Kynan immediately came up and he's going for that double leg, but he's not doing it with the head on the outside, like you often see guys shoot the head to the hip and then turn the corner. Instead, his head right there in the middle of the torso. And what he's gonna be doing, he is driving not just forward, but he's also driving up and through the torso of Rodriguez. Why? Well, because this makes it really hard for Nick to sprawl on top of him. If Kynan's head was here and Rodriguez is able to get his chest over the top of the shoulders, then he would basically just sprawl his hips back and he would flatten Kynan out. But instead, Kynan's done a really smart thing of keeping that head in the center He's managed, you can just about see it behind the scoreboard, but he's managed to get his hands behind the knees. So not only is he bringing the legs to him this way, but he's also driving his head forwards, right? So he's doing that push-pull motion, pushing with the head and pulling with the hands in the back of the knees. So you can see that Rodriguez is super upright, He's not really in a, an effective wrestling stance. 
he can't level change and he can't shoot his hips back for the sprawl. But watch what happens now when Kynan goes through and, and really drives him back. Because Rodriguez, maybe this is where his wrestling instincts and his lack of jiu-jitsu experience kicks in because he doesn't want to concede the takedown. Instead, he turns and he allows Duarte to get that body lock and off that restart position now ends up here. Because he had the body lock when they went out of bounds. The ADCC referees will start them in the same position, more or less, here in the center of the mat. And this is where Kynan is gonna get the back. Now, Rodriguez does do something interesting here. He's got a pretty effective defense because in jiu-jitsu, we often look to set the near side hook first, right? We wanna get that near side hook in first and then fall off to that side. So take a looking, uh, taking a look here at Rodriguez's defense, his elbow and his knee, there's very little space there. He's got them touching. So that makes it really hard for, Adre uh, for Kainan to insert that hook. But look at the far side, the elbow and the knee here, you can see all this daylight in between them. There's a big old gap on that far side. Now, it's a little bit uh, kind of against the rules, but Kainan is gonna throw that far side hook on first. And he can get away with that because he has the rear body lock instead of the harness or the seat belt. So it's a little safer for him that if he does uh, lose it, uh, lose the hook, then he's not gonna just get thrown off position. So play the clip and you'll see, he gets that hook. Now he's gonna roll towards us, drops off to his left shoulder, slips in the second hook. There it goes. Immediately switches to the body triangle, scores the three points, spends almost the next seven minutes riding out this position, working away on Rodriguez's neck, and that is how Kynan won the gold medal at the 2019 ADCC World Championships.